Ooh, welcome back everybody welcome if you are new today we're in the 358 modified here at usa happy thanksgiving everybody uh i am running this on thanksgiving as well so happy thanksgiving to all of you guys hopefully you guys have a great time with your family and staying safe on the roads if anybody's an idiot out there but ran a decent time in practice here on a little bit cleaner of a track i ran a 22 7 like almost an 8 but pretty much it was in the sevens but barely and uh, but hopefully we could get a good time here in qualifying track came in kind of worn out already through the middle you can still hook the bottom which is the fastest way around right now might move up later in the race but i really like running the bottom even when it gets worn out all you have to do is let off the gas and try to keep your car straight until you can get in the grip for the most part but hopefully we can get into the low 23s or even into the 22s try to get low enough here not slide up Get my left side on the grass, try to keep my back right in the grip. It was a decent one and two, wasn't amazing, but wasn't awful. Just don't mess up three and four, I slid up too much in three and four. That definitely hurt my speed, I was just in the slick the whole time sliding. Have a decent time, nope, not really, a 257, that's not good. Hopefully this second lap can be a little quicker if I hit three and four correctly. Try to get all the way to the bottom, let the car settle. Don't hit the left side tire on the wall. That was a decent three and four. Slid up a little bit too much off of four. But should be a little faster, I think. 113, okay, at least we got back into third. So we ran an okay time. The two car ran just behind us. Definitely messed up uh, the first lap in three and four too much, which was unfortunate. And it looks like everybody has qualified. So we should go straight on to the race. Yep, there we go. We'll be starting in third. I'd much rather be on the bottom, even though the top side's probably going to be the way to pass. The bottom side's going to be very tough to pass on. But if you guys enjoy this kind of racing, hit that like button. If you want to see some more, hit the subscribe. You can unsubscribe whenever you'd like. Uh, racing against Ty again. Last week we raced him in the 305s. He was killing us the whole race and then got taken out by a lap car, which is unfortunate. Hopefully that doesn't happen again to him or the leader. But a lot of fast people here. I'm car number three out of how many people were here? 11 so car number three out of 11 i've definitely raced one two and four a lot before i don't recognize number five's name but i definitely have raced one two and four a lot so i know they're fast i think we're just waiting on the leader to join up as well yeah it looks like we're just waiting on him so once he pops in in front of us we'll be able to get rolling there he goes hopefully we can have a pretty good race good job Yep, good luck to everybody. Hopefully we can have a clean race. No cautions, 30 laps. This track's always really fun to me in every car. Even though I still struggle in these 358 modifieds some. But I'm trying to get better at them. I feel like the last race I did in these, I was okay. Why is my car bouncing so much? <laughs> my car is bouncing so much, it's so weird when I'm not on the gas. It's just like... Left, right, left, right. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's just really, uh, ah, really odd. <laughs> but hopefully we can do well here. Not get wrecked from behind. Hopefully the guys on the outside run a little too wide. And we can get by them in the beginning. I'm hoping to come out of turn two in second. But I feel like that's going to be tough. Just got to get a good jump once the leader goes. Hopefully the second place is slacking a little bit. Got the two car to our outside. Like I said, I'd much rather be on the inside just because I like running it more. I'm not as good running the outside. So we'll see how the leader and stuff runs once this track gets a little bit more slicked off. It'll definitely move up. But I really like to keep the bottom. You can see it's real thin here in one and two, but you can get your back right just barely on it and get the grip coming off the corner. Yeah, I definitely wasn't going to reach their times up there in 013 and a 950. Definitely don't think I was going to reach them. I, I could have gotten in the zeros, I think, if I ran a better first lap, but I don't think I would have gotten as fast as second place. All right, he's really far off the pace truck, so he can go pretty much at any point now. Had a decent jump. Second place didn't have a great one, so I'm on the inside of him. Try not to miss the corner and slide up. Second place had a pretty good one and two. Clear 
Ty, I think, started in sixth, and he's up to fourth. It's a good start by him. I know he's fast in, like, everything, and I know he just ran this race an hour ago, too. I saw him in it when I got online. Missed the bottom there. Got a decent exit, though. But I wasn't expecting to see Ty in this race because I thought I saw him in a street stock race uh, at the top of the hour, so I didn't think he was going to make this. I really thought the six car was going to hit that wall on the inside. I tried backing off because I didn't want to run into the back of him. Because he was really close to that. Messed up turn one there. It's so easy to miss your line when this track gets so worn out. One car hit the wall going into the corner. That's an odd spot to hit the wall. I usually hit it when you're going through the middle of the corner and it comes out some. You have to go real low into that grass to hit that wall going in the corner, which is inter interesting. <laughs> I've done it once or twice in like the late models because the front end's so wide or so long in the front, but never like in these cars. Especially because you have no fender on it, you have to get real close with your front left to hit it. It might mess up your steering a little bit if you do get into it, so try not to screw that up. Guys behind me are running a little higher of a line going into the corner. Might be trying to get a better run off the corner, is my guess. Just trying to keep my car as steady as possible right on the bottom. Everybody's pretty much running down there. Definitely the faster way around at the moment. Just going up the track, you lose a lot. Like, it's so much wider around the track. It's a flat track for the most part. There's a little bit of banking and it. Not much, though. Not enough to really want to go higher in these cars especially because like the very small strip that we're running won't really get worn out like right above it will because we keep hitting it going in oh where'd he go okay he screwed up that corner or something something weird happened to the second place I don't know what the hell happened to him wasn't sure if he was going to come down on us or not he stayed high we get under him, don't hit the wall. Outside, outside. He had a better run off the corner. I don't know what the hell happened to him. That last lap in turn one. He like blinked, went straight up the track. It was weird. And now we're right on him. It's a hard, little harder to hit our lines, I feel like. I'm trying not to follow him into the wall down there. Outside. I had to really get off of it and it turned my car a ton skim the wall a little bit. I definitely am a little bit faster than this guy. So I need to try to get by him. Ty is starting to make that outside work pretty well. Let me see if I can go out there and get past this guy. I can probably keep up the momentum. Maybe cross him over on the front stretch. No, not quite. Oh, we're going to have a little bit more of a run there. Yeah, I'm running a little bit too high on the line I'm running. Definitely have a lot of momentum. Now the six car goes up. I still think the bottom's quick. One and two might be a little bit better up here. But three and four still seems like it works pretty well. We're kind of catching the leader a little bit, it seems like. Two cars starting to run really well up here now. Like, this is where I struggle in these cars more is when the track starts to uh, wear out, I feel like. I start to get worse. Oh, don't slide up into the six. I was just trying to go my normal lane into there, and I kind of went a little too hard, I think. Try to see if I can get any grip on the bottom. Try to get by this dude. The leaders up there, up there are just loving this. Tap the brake a little too hard there. Car really kicked out. Two cars can get to our outside and buy us. I definitely fall off with this track some. Ooh, six car went to go block that. Two car had a huge run on him going in that corner. But yeah, being stuck on the bottom of one and two is not good at this point in the track state. 
You can definitely keep up some speed some, but the momentum off the top side is so fast. Three and four is not awful. As long as you don't hit that inside wall. You still get the momentum off the top side. I need to pull up. Get to the outside here. Two cars are going to throw a slider on the six. Six cars really not making a move. It piles everybody up on the top side. Got the five car to our inside now. Two car does its cross over there. He's really making that bottom work. Guess we gotta get all the way up in this grip to keep the uh, speed up, I guess. Pull on the file a little bit down the straightaway. Yeah, I guess you gotta get all the way up in the grip if you're gonna run up here. Which is very interesting. Just let off the gas a little bit, try to keep the car straight. But this track's just so different, it's crazy. He's gonna run into the floor there. Saw that coming. That sucks. Five car did not have room to throw a slider and just ran to the four. Ty is getting screwed in these races. I'm running with him. That sucks so much. Last race I ran with him, he was leading the whole thing. Got wrecked by a lap car that decided to pit with five laps to go. Like, just nailed the brakes mid-corner and then we came down the track and ran straight into him. This time, guy in, what, six at that point? Tries to throw a slider on me and doesn't have the room. Runs straight into Ty and he gets wrecked. That just blows. His luck with the races I've been with him is awful. That puts us up to fourth. Try to see if we can go up here and catch the six car. You definitely have the opportunity to throw a slider. Oh, that's an interesting line the two is doing. I kind of like that. He goes super high and tries to get like a straight run off the corner. He's so slow in the middle, so hopefully he doesn't get hit by the six, but he gets so much of a launch off these corners. I really like that. He goes super high, gets his car pointed on the exit, and just nails the gas, tries to get all the way to the bottom. I really like that. Better than just trying to stay right on the edge of the grip the whole time something different and you're actually getting a huge launch off these corners i like that the leader up there is not doing it so the two car might have a chance to catch them leader's doing it a little bit but not nearly as much six cars started doing it now hopefully i can run it a little bit better than he is we got no threat behind us actually if i can just get to his outside here that'd be great now he had a good launch off the corner need to try to get to his outside though if i want to pass i feel like or get that launch off this corner and throw a slider on him. Not gonna quite have it. I don't know if I'm kicking my car out too much when I'm doing it, because it might be slowing myself down going into the corner. Maybe try to keep the car a little straighter and just let off the gas and get it pointed. Yeah, that seemed to work better. I'm going to try to throw a slider here. Outside, still there. Clear high. Pick up the throttle when you get in the grip. He's going to have a lot of run off the corner. He's going to throw it back. I should be able to go back under him here. Get a huge run on him. That was a bad slider. I went way too straight into that corner. But it worked, I guess, for now. Six cars back to our inside. He went a little too hard into that. I should clear him off of two. We're good. Awesome. That was very nice. Very nice. Okay, he's trying to throw a slider back when he's a car length behind us. That's not going to work. Alright, hopefully we can keep this spot now. With him going low on us, though, I can't really throw that line that I was running beforehand, like the two car was before. But he's not really running anymore. He kinda is still, not as dramatic as it was in the beginning. 
when he started doing it. We got four laps left, three laps left now. I'm not getting my car slowed up enough to run that. Six car is going in low on us though, which scares me. I'm trying not to run that line if he goes too low on us. I'm trying to get the car turned to come down and be straight pointed off the corner because it's definitely a good launch off the corner. It's very quick. So I'm happy I was behind him went to notice what he was doing to see how to run it. Didn't have a really good turn down there. I'm keeping the car too straight in turn one. But I'm happy with how we're running. I knew the two car was going to be fast. He ran really fast in practice. He kind of messed up qualifying a little bit and I was ahead of him. And then he fell back in the beginning. I kind of want to see what happened in the beginning of this race. His tie went from 6th to 4th. So I'm interested to see what happened with really? the two car. Nine car got hit or something maybe? He's in sixth right now. I don't know what happened with him. White flag. Appreciate that, eh? White flag. One more time around. Car really got kicked out on us there. Yeah, that line is like really fast off the corner. I like it a lot because it cuts off a lot of the exit. Okay, six cars going super low. I'm not even going to try to go low because I figured he was going to get close to us and I didn't want to get wrecked on the last corner. But we'll come home third. Good yeah, win. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Thank you. He was very fast all race. Two cars really fast too, but he got a little bit too far behind in the beginning. But he was definitely really fast. We were catching the leader there in the beginning a little bit when I was in third behind the six car. But uh, that was a lot of fun. Started third, finished third. We fell all the way back to fifth, nearly sixth at one point. So it was a good rebound for us. But I want to see what happened on the start here. Oh, what happened with the two car? That was so weird. Okay, that's, that's what happened with the two. He like blinked out or something on the start. And that's why he was so slow. But like he went, blinked out. I guess he backed off or something because Ty ended up inside of him and he ended up all the way back here. I don't know how that happened. That was super weird. Five car got up into the two car two, seven and ten are all together. All right, let's go back. See some of these incidents. Five car into the wall on the front stretch. Eleven car, don't know where he is going. He is just out for a joyride, I guess. Looks like he stole the car <laughs> into the wall in turn one. Five car goes super low, tries to throw a slider on me. There's not room to come up. He runs straight into the four car tie, which is awful. Everybody actually seemed to avoid that. That's impressive, to be honest. I thought for sure people were going to run into them. He tries to get the car turned around. Probably gets an incident point. Yep, getting into the wall there. A little bit of net code, I think, between us because it didn't look like we hit. I know we got that contact point. That really messed him up on the exit, which I didn't mean to do. But it looked like, oh, uh, we definitely kind of would have touched barely. But that shouldn't have affected them that much, I don't think. So that was kind of weird. I wasn't trying to, like, cut his nose off or anything. I think this is where the 9 car said thanks. Yeah, the 8 car just slams him into the wall. Ooh, causes a huge pile up behind. 5 car almost goes flipping. 10 car is trying to take advantage of it, but uh, gets into the back of the 9 trying to get low on him. This is getting towards the end of the race. Yeah, this is the last lap. 11 car into the wall, climbs it. That's what happens if you get that front right on the wall, you can climb it, and that's the end of the race. So, not too many incidents. There was a decent amount, though, where the five car got into the four, and they went for a slide, and the eight car into the nine was the main one, I feel like, because that was a huge uh, wreck. I ended up finishing 10th. That sucks. Nobody was a lap down, though. Wow. I'm actually surprised, especially with going back and seeing the replay of the 11 car on where the hell he was going the whole race, but nobody ended up a lap down, so that's impressive. At least all 11 of us were on lead lap. That's awesome. What was the only the lowest was a D4 and that was car number five. So he's gained a lot of I rating this uh, off season or this season, not off season. So he's probably be division two, division one at this point going into next season. So good for him. So a lot of fast people here. Uh, one car won it was leading all race. Good race by him. Two car had a weird glitch in the beginning where he disappeared, fell back to six, but he ended up coming all the way back up to second. So maybe if that didn't happen in the beginning, he would have had a chance to win this thing. Because he was super fast, but uh, happy we came home third, started third, fell back to fifth, almost sixth, came back up to third. Good battle with the six car. Where was that at? Like, we had a pretty good battle 
for a few laps. I want to go watch that real quick. Because I definitely was catching them really fast. Doing this line following the two car. Just getting a good launch off of the exits of both corners. You can just see how much I catch up to them on the exit. I might lose it going in the corner. But then like halfway through, I might gain it all back pretty much. Going down the front stretch. All the way back up to his bumper here. I don't think I threw a slider here. I think it might have been the next corner. Especially if he messed up a little bit. Yeah, he got he stayed a little too high. Got a little loose in the middle of the corner. Had a good run. Side by side with him here. I'm pretty sure I throw a slider. Yep, yeah, decent slider. I'm not great at throwing sliders, but I'm happy I don't go up and just smash the wall. Because I do that sometimes in certain cars. I'm not good at throwing sliders at the end. Uh, I'm not used to. Six car goes real low, throws a slider back on us, but he goes, he hits that grass and kind of flips him up in the air a little bit, his front left. So we're able to get a good run back on him. Throw a slider back on him. I think I messed up this one. Yeah, it stayed a little too straight, so it kind of awkwardly went up, but it kind of worked out in a way, I would say. Six car gets back to our inside. I think he really messed up the slider here, I want to say. Like he went up and I think like almost hit the wall. Like, yeah, he got super high. Super slow off the corner. So I was able to just clear him off that. And then we're able to pull away. So that's awesome. And then I think he was really close to us here in this corner. Like, he went super low. There was no way you were throwing a slider. Only going halfway down the corner anyways. And I think this is where we got that net code. No, it wasn't. Okay. I thought it was. But happy we finished third. Should gain a little bit of I rating. So fun race overall. Again, happy Thanksgiving everybody. But let's go see what kind of I rating we get out of this. All right, result to end. Strength of field was nearly 3,000. It was a pretty high strength of field. How many splits were there? There's four different splits. There was like 40-something people that registered, for it, so that makes sense. One car, fastest lap of the race. Makes sense. He wasn't in any traffic. We had a 298, which wasn't a great lap, but also we were in traffic, like right behind the six at that time. So I'm happy with how we ran. Uh, ran a pretty solid race. Able to gain some spots there towards the end, running that odd, like, going out and cutting off half the corner line which actually worked out pretty well for us happy about that gained 28 i rating so we're up to 41 49 nearly 41 and a half so that's awesome trying to gain our i rating back card number one's over 5200 card two over mid 42s which is awesome so really high strength of field ty just keeps getting screwed in my races i want to go back and see what he finished last hour because i know he ran this an hour ago too and that's unfortunate for him and he might have gotten wrecked out of the street stock race i saw him in because I, I didn't expect to see him in that race but happy he was there not really happy he got wrecked that's unfortunate for him he probably is not happy he was here at that time but uh he's just getting screwed in these races with me so that's unfortunate hopefully he's doing well in his other races though but a uh, lot of fun hopefully you guys enjoyed the race like i said before a couple times happy thanksgiving to everybody have a great day watch a lot of football that's what i'll be doing when this po uh goes up probably i'll probably i don't know which game's on at the four o'clock uh i don't know if that's the dallas or the lions game whichever i know because they're both at home but uh hope you guys have a good thanksgiving spend some quality time with your family have a lot of fun eat a lot of food and i'll catch you guys in the next one